Welcome back. I have Selena here with me and today we're going to talk more quadrilaterals. We're going to talk about the trapezoid and the parts of a trapezoid and we're going to talk about different types of trapezoids because when we talked last time that we just made one but we can make, could make different ones. So we're going to look at the trapezoid we talked about when we did the types of quadrilaterals and we're going to label these parts. Just like with a rectangle or a square, the bottom part that it sits on is the base. I guess that was the same in all polygons. The part, the side it sits on is called the base. This one is interesting because I picked up my pen. I'm not ready for that yet. This is the base, but this side here could just as easily be the base as well. Both of these parallel lines could are the base. This one here is the large one. And this one here is the short one. And so maybe you remember from our parts of a rhombus lesson that a short and a long one have a little special added to it. What do you think the long base is called, Selena? The major base. The major base, that is correct. The major base. And what do you think the, the short base is? The minor base. The minor base. Now the major base is the long one and the minor base is the short one. On this one, the two red sides are called sides. And those are the parts of a trapezoid. Ta-da! Major base, minor base, and a side. And this is another side over here. We could also label the vertex if we wanted to. This one has four ver vertices. I want to show you another trapezoid. I'm going to slide this out of the way. Well, if I slide it, the pieces get all weird. Okay. I'm gonna... <laughs> like to stick to the board. Okay, here I have another shape. This is special. This is a trapezoid. It has one pair of parallel sides and the other sides are coming together. And when we look at this, we see here we have a right angle. When we have a trapezoid that is made of the pair of parallel sides with one right angle, we call this a right trapezoid, like a right angle trapezoid. We could also call it a scalene right angle trapezoid because all four sides are different lengths. So just like when we talk about classifying triangles, we can classify trapezoids the same way. We have a right angle, so this is a right trapezoid, and it's scalene because all the sides are different lengths. That was just for fun. I will, uh, in our pictures, in my journal example, I will show you different types of trapezoids and you can draw them. I want to bring this one back in because this one here has a special name that we can add, just like with triangles. Do you see that the two sides are red? The two sides are the same length. Just like in a triangle, when two of the legs are the same and we call it an isosceles triangle, this is an isosceles trapezoid. It's so much fun. I think it's so much fun. <laughs> I, I get really excited about the shapes, shapes, <laughs> geometry. So this is an isosceles trapezoid. It has one pair of parallel sides and the two sides are the same. We have, there's acute trapezoids. There are obtuse trapezoids. This is an obtuse isosceles trapezoid. You can see there's obtuse angles. There's lots of cool things to talk about with trapezoids and I can't wait to share more with you. Those are our lessons for another day. We'll see you next time.